the next episode of Jabari's Nutcase Wisdoms. So now another topical thing that people are going to hate. But I mean, this one's less topical, I feel like, from the way I'm going to talk about it. But the, the fact that I'm going to say what I'm going to say in the beginning is already going to lead people off to being like he's a nutcase. But, you know, it ends off being, I guess, slightly positive, but not positive in a good way. But here it is. Hello, all of this is I mean, Today, we're going to be talking about why global warming is a bait. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. So, what, what, oh, oh, how dare you? Oh, go, uh, go, 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 I'm not saying that global warming doesn't exist. I'm saying that it is a bait. And you might be asking, oh, why, why is it a bait? Or, well, not global warming, I should say climate change. Well, not, I guess climate change in general. Why it's a bait is because there is nothing we can do to stop it. And what do you mean? Like, oh, oh, we, uh, oh we, all we have to do is keep recycling and uh, be careful of uh, how much resources we use and blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. We, people, normal people, the normals, have no relevancy of how this world changes at all. At all. At all. No, no, I don't know. At all. We are not going to make a difference. You riding a bike instead of uh, going on or uh, driving a car to work is not going to make a dip in anything. Let's say the whole city starts doing that. Maybe it may, might, might make a slight dip, but it's not going to make a difference. It's still going to happen. Why is it still going to happen? Because the way industry works. You are buying product, and what does it cost to uh, get this product? To get this product, things have to change. And what has to change? Rather, that's freaking what pollution. Rather, that's freaking uh, air pollution. You know, and you know all this freaking climate change, whatever crap. It's like most of it. I would say probably tw- freaking eighty percent of it is done by industry, not by the humans. Or when I say humans, not by the normals, the people who are just going to work every day, the ones who, you know, you mostly hear crying about the climate change. It's done by industry. Say you getting your iPhone, you getting your iPhone itself. Well, they say they're going to be carbon neutral or whatever by blank, 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 blank. So maybe things are sl- slowly changing because now it's becoming a profitable thing to be uh, climate aware. But let's just say before this climate revolution, whatever crap is like everything you bought had a consequence and you not getting it is not going to change it because that's just how things work. Like you saying, oh, I'm just not going to drive a car. It's like the reason why cars exist is because you need a car to to transport yourself to another destination in a quick fashion. And the only way for cars to be energized in a a clean or not clean, but like, you know, in an efficient manner is to use gasoline and gasoline is going to mess up the environment. And what are you going to do? You're going to change how that works. It's like, okay, I'm going to use an electric car. Then it's like, okay, how do you think electricity comes? Most electricity comes from what? Not coal anymore, but natural gas or natural gas, but natural gas is what? It's the same gas that, you know, they're saying messes up the ozone layer. Man, I, for, I forgot what the gas is, honestly, but, you know, you can look that up yourself. What is it? It's not helium. What? Whatever, you know, but it's still, you know, they burn or whatever. I think they burn it. Yeah, they burn the natural gas, which that in itself, if you're burning gas is going to cause problems. And when you call and that's going to mess up, say, the environment and what now everyone's using electricity is cleaner than uh, gas, but it's still not solving the issue. You're still messing up the you're still you know polluting the air, messing up whatever ozone layer or whatever crap. So it's not changing. And then let's say, oh, we could just use solar. It's like so. Maybe things will be changing slowly for because now that, you know, electricity is becoming more of a, you know, a viable alternative energy source. Well, when I say, yeah, like using straight up electricity instead of like, you know, uh, petroleum or whatever it's not fully. But, you know, it's becoming because, you know, you're not going to freaking have an electric uh, uh, shipping c- carrier or whatever. <laughs> that, that's just not feasible in reality right now. But still. Let's just say everyone who switches to electric cars, but the only way, the fastest way to get electricity is to burn natural gas. But let's just say everyone just switch. They switch even more because now electricity is becoming more of a mainstream thing. Or electric type stuff. 
is becoming more mainstream. So they say, okay, we're going to instead uh, get a bunch of solar uh, solar panels and we're going to use uh, wind farms. But the problem with those two things is solar is inefficient as a mess. So you're not going to get the same level of sol- uh, solar as you would burning natural gas. But let's just say they, they flip all the way to solar. What does it cost to have solar with our, the inefficiency levels of the modern day? You're going to have to have a huge freaking farm of solar, like a huge solar farm, like say the size of a freaking state. Because did you like they always say like this stuff like, oh, if we had a solar farm the size of Kenya, we could uh, have electricity around the whole world. It's like, do you realize how big freaking Kenya is? <laughs> now, imagine that huge freaking area of a country, literally just solar farm. If, that, if that's what it takes to, like, energize the world, that's ridiculous. You know how many things, like, how many, um, how much glass, how much, like, I don't know what else is in a solar farm or, like, to make solar panels, but you know how much resources it's going to take to have, like, that much because the solar, uh, our solar panels are so inefficient? And then it's the same with solar. I mean, with wind. With wind, you're going to have to have a huge freaking farm just to power a city just to power a, a state would be even huge like you gotta go even bigger power a country you gotta go even bigger so it's like you know the natural gas is not going to go away because that is the most efficient way of doing electricity or coal or whatever whatever crap they use but it's the stuff that you know pollutes the air and it's like you could argue that if people use solar more then it's going to become more popular and people will innovate more with solar but the problem is for that to work, people have to stop caring about money because it's going to cost more to do the research or to install the solar panels or blah, 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 blah. And as we know, people really care about money. People rather take the cheap alternative than the more expensive. That just makes sense. But the cheap alternative is usually the, the unhealthier option, rather that be for food or for polluted type uh, energy sources. The cheaper option is usually the worst and most people are not rich. So we're going to go to the cheaper option instead. So that's why I say, you know, it's kind of a bait in a way because there's all these like, you know, we got to stop. We got to stop. I don't know why uh, people aren't listening. It's like people aren't listening because that would change their life too drastically to a point that is just unrealistic. Like you can't just flip switches like that. So it's, it's a big bait. It's like, there's nothing we can do to change it. You just got to hope that either one, a big freaking scientific discovery happens where they're like, oh, we found an alternative energy source and it's cheap. It's cheap. And it does a lot of, uh, it gives a lot of energy per output. Or you just got to hope that they just, you know, maybe this, it would just be econo- a huge freaking economic change where people just, you know, rather spend how much more money just to, you know, just for the environment, which it just would never happen, especially in like a more, more capitalistic society because cheap equals better. Well, not better, but like better for you because, you know, money is important or having money is important. So, yeah, that was a mini episode. I'm probably going to get a super flack for that because I just, you know, basically said that it's a bait and nothing's going to change. But that's just how it is. Sometimes you got to hear the hard, hard facts. Uh, but maybe things will change. Knowing my luck. You know, things will change like literally the moment this stuff blows. They're like, oh, yeah, actually, we found a new energy source. We're actually using nuclear for once. Yes. Oh, we're reusing nuclear. It's kind of crazy. Uh, finally, after uh, 50 years, we finally started doing nuclear again and not for bombs, for uh, nuclear power plants. So we have an uh, actual energy source that actually works, that is actually clean. And uh, we're using it for once. You know, people are afraid of uh, meltdowns anymore. Uh, yeah, we're, and we're going to. You know, we're going to pay for the price. We're, we're increasing taxes, which people are okay with because we're increasing taxes so we can build more uh, nuclear power plants and hire more uh, nuclear uh, workers. But, you know, that's fairy tale land because that would never happen in our country because of how the views of certain energy sources are. It would make my stocks go up, though. <laughs> I'm invested in that nuclear. One day people will listen. I guess that, that is the wisdom of the end is, you know, nuclear is the future. You're here first. A new clear future, I should say. Mm. You can put me on the marketing team for the nuclear alternative energy. But that's about it. That's about it. Uh, I guess uh, I'll make the final trilogy of controversial, wacky, wacko, um, conspiracy wisdom 